Brooklyn Assemblyman Vito Lopez paid $32,000 to two women who brought sexual harassment claims against him earlier this year. The New York Times, which broke the story Wednesday night, says it's unclear whether the money came from Lopez's personal funds or from campaign money. According to the Times, the money is part of an agreement to settle unproven allegations that the two women were subjected to sex discrimination and retaliation and sex harassment, which Vito Lopez and the Assembly deny. The agreement was done without the involvement of the Assembly's Ethics Committee. In addition to the $32,000, the women received unspecified amounts of benefits and pay as well as $103,800 from the funds of the Assembly, which meant it came from taxpayers' money. Speaker of the New York State Assembly Sheldon Silver is under fire for approving and keeping the settlement a secret. He issued an apology Tuesday, though he maintains the deal was legal. Silver could now face an investigation from the state's Joint Commission on Public Ethics after the National Organization for Women and Government Transparency Group Common Cause filed a complaint. Now, as New York City branch president tells Businessweek, the public needs a full accounting of what happened happened in this case and we need to know if this has ever happened before. It begs the question, is this the way Albany works? According to the Wall Street Journal, the complaint won't immediately start a formal probe against Silver, who's a Democrat. A full investigation would need the blessing of eight commission members, including two out of the four members appointed by legislative Democrats. The commission also doesn't have the power to penalize Silver because that is the job of the Legislative Ethics Commission, which is appointed by the legislators' leadership, including Mr. Silver. As for Vito Lopez, the assemblyman has been censured and stripped of his committee chairmanship for the sexual harassment allegations. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman, multiple sources, The Real Story.